To many people, the quickest way to come to Australia is via student visa. Because when you come to the student visa, you will be studying and you'll be working and making your money. And also, as you're working, you'll be able to secure your subsequent school fees, depending on the kind of job you do. I've made video about that. And now, most question is this. How do I get permanent residence after studies? How do I get my citizenship after studies? And I keep telling people there is a way. Australia is one of those countries that made it clear on a pathway for an international student to secure permanent residence after graduation. Whether you are doing a bachelor degree or you are doing your um, diploma courses in vocational colleges or you are doing postgraduates like masters and doctorates. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Jen Kenny's Creation. My name is Jen and I live in Australia. Welcome to my channel where we talk everything Australia, migration to Australia, work in Australia, lifestyle in Australia, everything Australia and every other information that will help you to make informed decision towards your migration plan to any country of your choice. Welcome. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that button and subscribe for more to come. And thank you for my returning subscribers. I appreciate you all. So let's dig in. Quickest way to come to Australia for so many people is through student visa. No cap. You can't query that. Okay. But it's very expensive. But if you can afford it, why not? It means that once you come over to Australia to study, there is no going back. You are in, in for life. Now, what happens after studies? First of all, you are going to come over here with student visa, which is visa 500. And visa 500 allows you to come with families. So when you talk about family members, you talk about your children and your spouse. That's your partner. Okay. You guys can be legally married or you will be in a de facto relationship. Okay. But it's your spouse. Then when you come over here, you study. For you to be able to secure a visa after graduation, you must have studied for two years. Okay? So that's why if you're going for master's, the agent will always encourage you to go for two years master's. If you're going for one year master's, you will not be qualified for you to get a work visa after graduation. So it's always good for you to do at least two years course. Okay? This is why. So if your agent has told you that now, you know why they are telling you at least two years course. Okay. So if you have done a bachelor degree, probably you are doing three to four years course. So you are all covered. But especially for masters, please don't come to Australia with a one year master degree. But you can still make it with one year. So it says you must have studied for two years. And that two years can be combination of two courses. So it means that you can come and do one master's after that to get another study visa. Once you are unsure, it's very easy for you to get a subsequent student visa. So for people that are coming with one year visa, it's still fine. You finish that study, you get another visa to study for another one year before you will be qualified to go for a work visa for post qualification. Today, I'm going to tell you the quickest way to secure your permanent residence as an international student there is a generic way as well i will explain the generic way because i know some people like to go a normal pathway while some people like to go for challenging one okay so i'm going to explain both pathways for you all right so in australia when you finish your studies when you have visa 500 which is a study visa after you have finished studies you'll be qualified for postgraduate work visa which is visa 485 so visa 485 will allow you to stay in australia for at least two years for people that did bachelor degrees and if you've done master's degree you'll be able to stay for three good years okay and work so this visa allows you to work all right then if you have done your phd you'll be allowed to stay for four years okay so this visa 485 will allow you to stay in Australia and work during the duration of the visa. You can decide to study or you work or you do both. Okay? It's still whatever you choose to do. Back to the topic, which is 
quickest way for you to get permanent resident and secure your citizenship okay in australia you can secure permanent resident from outside of australia or inside of australia so it is also possible that as you are graduating that you can apply for a permanent residence okay now let's put it this way the fastest way for you to go is there and the generic normal way for you to go is there let me tell you about the normal way so you graduate you you've done two year studies you graduate you get visa 485 postgraduate work visa then you work in let's assume you've done your bachelor's degree they've given you two years okay then you start working and i will tell you if you're working don't just go to the city find a regional area the funny thing about australia is that some places they call regional area is not really a location it's a city you'll be surprised that some state capitals are classified as regional area category two somewhere like pet and um adelaide is categorized as regional area but they are capital cities so the first part of your visa is the one you get two years as a bachelor degree three years in masters and four years as phd graduate okay so you use it and work and study whatever you want to do and let's assume that you have worked for one year there then you can apply for permanent resident or you can go for sponsored visa you can go for employer sponsored visa so you can go for temporal visa even after your graduation immediately after graduation get your 485 visa don't relax too much there don't find it as your comfort zone make a swift plan to move out of it as soon as you can okay don't relax too much another pathway for you to quickly get permanent residence is through visa 189 i've made a video about visa 189 please check it so let's assume that you finish your studies and you get your postgraduate work visa for two or three years or even four years depending on your level of studies now you are in this visa you work for one year you go for visa 189 another good thing about visa 189 is that it is a state-sponsored visa and most states like south australia new south wales and so on in this visa they have graduate pathway so they give this visa to new graduates visa 189 is state sponsored visa but if you are not qualified for that visa you go for state sponsored temporary visa then you move to permanent resident visa so if you are not qualified for visa 189 immediately after graduation go for visa 489 visa 489 is state sponsored and once you are in that visa you can apply for permanent resident visa 189 there are visa options like visa 489 there is visa 491 and 494 some of these visas are point tested so when you have worked in australia for one year it will give you a certain point so it will boost your point and because you have studied in australia it will also boost your point you see you have more points okay so you can go for these temporal visas and quickly come out of your postgraduate visa or you can stay in that postgraduate visa and shoot for your permanent resident and you secure your permanent resident you are allowed to have permanent resident as soon as you can but once you get your permanent resident for you to be qualified to go for your citizenship in australia you must have stayed in australia for at least four years okay this includes your study time postgraduate work visa any temporary visa you have secured so if you have had study visa of two years and another one year you get your permanent resident it means that you now have three years so in the next one year you apply for your citizenship and you get it you become a citizen of australia under four years how beautiful is that very quick what are the permanent resident visa you can apply you can apply for 190 your 190 the state will nominate you once you you are unsure okay state will nominate you okay 
If that pathway is not going to work for you or that you have a skill that is not in the occupation, then you go through visa 191. Visa 919, that is permanent resident, you do not need anybody to nominate you. You do not need a sponsor. You do not need any state to nominate you. You just apply. One of the eligibility is that you must be in visa 491 or visa 494. These two visas are temporary visas. So if you want to go that pathway, once you get your graduate work visa, you shoot your shot. You have your qualification, you shoot your shot. But if you are going this pathway, it's a very long process because you must have been in visa 491 or 494 for at least three years. It's a five years visa, but for you to go for permanent residence, you must have been in that visa for at least three years. That's a long pathway. Why am I talking about this? For people that think their occupation is not one of the area of shortage, critical area of needs, okay? They can as well go through that pathway. But the quickest pathway is this. Finish your study, get your graduate work visa. One year later, apply for your visa 190. It's state nominated. Once your occupation is in the list, you are qualified because you have advantage that you have studied in Australia, and you have at least one year work experience in Australia. And if you have studied in a regional Australia, you might secure some points as well. Okay. Now that brings me to another visa I want to talk about. You know, when I talk about visa 485, graduate visa. Okay. So if you have studied in a regional Australia or you have gone to work in a regional Australia after your graduation, so when you are in your first graduate visa, you are qualified for subsequent graduate work visa. And that one is for people that have stayed at least two years in the regional Australia. Okay. Whether you are working or, or you are studying. So there's another visa they will give you to stay for two years. My question is this. Why would you want to be in this postgraduate temporary work visa? where there are pathways for you to go for permanent residence quicker. By now, you have known that there is a clear pathway for you to become an Australian after your studies in Australia, okay? And that brings us to the end of this video today. Please subscribe to my channel, like my video, and share my video. Please do share my video. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Bye.